All right, guys, day one of our new strength cycle starting today. 12 weeks, full of strength, good fun, a lot of progressions, and I'm really excited to put in the work. Thought I will do a quick video kind of documenting all the sessions Sophie and I do uh, within a week. Uh, we are both following the TDG competitor track, which offers a lot of options. So I think, um, yeah, it's kind of interesting to see which sessions you should pick according to your strengths, weaknesses, goals, whatever. So without further ado, let's start right into session number one, starting with the back squats. Oh damn it, those squats definitely felt super challenging. But I mean, I didn't squat at all for four weeks, so that's what they should feel like. <laughs> So I'm doing the front squats and an accessory part because my focus is on building strength especially for the legs and Louis focus more on barbell cycling and workout endurance. That's why he's doing the hang um, snatches. Stink. For the first six weeks on Mondays we will always have total bar in the cycle starting with an initial tester today and then retesting in six weeks and then we will switch things up and work on chest to bar for the second half of the cycle. Now that was a fun one, just entering my score into our app. Yeah, pretty motivating to see a leaderboard, some really good scores over here. I've got 552, not really happy with it to be honest. Try to go every 15 seconds, which will then end up in a sub 5 score, but at the second half of the workout I just couldn't keep the rep scheme, um, especially the grip and my core was pretty fatigued. So really looking forward to um, start into the six week cycle over here. And then at the end, it's definitely the goal to go sub five. Sweaty one. All right, that's it for session one. I need some food and see you in the next one. So, uh, second session of the day, we're currently walking to the track because the work capacity session, our second session, is a running session and I prefer doing it on Mondays because then it's out of the way and I can't postpone it. If you want to do the work capacity session from the programming, make sure that you do it in a separate session because all in one is just too much volume and that's not sustainable. So keep it separate and then you're ready to rock. Yeah, legs are feeling quite heavy after yesterday's squats. 
We still got cleans today on the menu, so overloading the legs a bit. Um, but we are doing this just for the first couple of weeks. As soon as the squats are getting heavier, we will get rid of the cleans on Tuesday. So they are making fun of me because my hair looks wild. I mean, I'm in my awkward phase right now, so I don't care. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, Kati. <Cartier. laughs> that actually felt better than expected, especially as soon as the legs were a little bit warm, um, the reps felt pretty good. I tried to slow down my pull from the ground, focusing on keeping my arms long and extended. I usually struggle with that and then being as explosive as possible as soon as I get to my contact point. Um, that worked really well, so give it a try. Now on to the push presses. Sophie's already warming up. I need to hurry. Felt pretty shaky from the midline, but managed to hit a one kilo PR for the fried bread and eggs, so I take that. That was good fun guys. Uh, I rarely ever rip my hands anymore, but um, yeah, in the last couple of weeks somehow on the handstand walks, I think I'm too fast. I'm not sure. <laughs> Still got a mat count on the menu on Tuesdays. We usually do longer like conditioning pieces, 15 to 25 minutes. Today is no different. We've got an MRAP for 15, I think. Have to check again with shuttle runs, uh, rope climbs and wall balls. So all about the engine. If you want to snatch 90 kg, <laughs> then you have mm -hmm. to dip your crackers into Corn coffee. Cornflakes and protein shake. Coffee flavor. And then me eating an apple. That's my problem. Now we know. Now we know. Now we know. <laughs> All right, team, day three of our cycle. We are here at Berlin Athletics um, with Martin, Chiara, Sophie and me. Um, third day of the week. Definitely can feel it already. Got some snatches on the menu functional bodybuilding and we're starting into our 22.2 progression deadlifts and burpees not really looking forward to that snatches felt really good and now we have um, deficit snatch pulls to practice really the first pull from the ground Functional bodybuilding today is two parts. First part, um, a lot of pulling, strict pull-ups and reverse flies. Second part, switching things up, working on our push. Good and solid upper body pump. He's a gymnast monster and I don't want to keep up with him. 
<laughs> One day. Oh, your your chest is on fire. Not really looking forward to do the burpees and the workout. They will definitely be more challenging after all those pushing. But yeah, all excuses. That actually felt pretty good. I mean, we did a ton of burpees during our camping trip, so that um, definitely paid off. Um, deadlift were challenging, especially in the later rounds, but then I just went with six touch and go reps and four singles. That worked really well for me, so my back was not blowing up. Um, last two rounds are all out. Really like that format because it's the last four minutes of the workout and you have to push. Okay, Thursday on the program is an optional active recovery day. Three options over here. Do a full rest day if you feel like you need one. Then we have our active recovery session from the program, low intensity stuff, some body weight movements in there. Or for the upcoming cycle, Saturday's work capacity session is great to do on Thursdays. So I'm doing the zone two work, which means 30 minutes on the bike, heart rate 60 to 70%. Uh, tracking it with my Apple Watch or any other yeah, uh, heart rate tracker will do. Otherwise, if you don't have one, there are pacing instructions you can follow on the program. with back squats and front squats both are a little bit lighter than on Monday but we have more reps instead <laughs> shaky for sure uh, was tough I really need to grind without the belt that usually helps me but I try to stick without the belt as long as possible and I just checked a few weeks ago I had roughly the same as like eight rep max with the belt so that's really really good um, today What are we doing now? Power cleans, like touch and go reps and more power cleans, <laughs> like in the walls. on 40 seconds off I try to stick to touch and go reps all the way through it's pretty gri uh, grippy but you uh, yeah just push through the last uh, two sets and then you're fine Fridays you always have the option to go or choose between bar muscle up and ring muscle ups. Got three minutes and 30 seconds which I'm really happy about. Super important that you start with a strategy into this piece so don't make the mistake and think you have to do an all-out set in the beginning. I went with eights then dropped down to six and fours so that worked really well. Kept the pauses pretty small 
yeah and then just try to hang on for the later round so we will work on that for the next 12 weeks repeating the test two times so a lot of chances to improve your score over here at the end of the cycle definitely the goal to go sub free Cheers. Okay, so this is an important one. Just real quick, you don't actually have to do five Metcons a week to get fitter. Especially right now, we're just starting into a strength phase. There's a lot of intensity, a lot of volume. So three to four Metcons a week are definitely more than enough to keep you fit or even get fitter. That's why we also skip today's Metcon, but we still have a work capacity session on today's menu, which you will see in a second. That was a really nice session. Uh, I start with 13 calories for the first four rounds, increased for the next four rounds to 14 calories and ended the last rounds with 15 calories. It's quite spicy at the end. <sighs> Kind of weird, but I always use the same locker. Deadlift felt really good. Uh, was nice with the eccentric movement, and yeah, we work a lot on uh, like moderate heavy weight because we already have a lot of um, intensity on the squat side. But it's pretty nice on a Saturday. Chest is on fire, so we just started into a cluster bench progression which means we are working on quiet heavy loads with the goal to improve like our five, three and one rep max. And yeah, Saturdays always means the weekly grinder, a good mix today, some barbell movements in there, some machines, some gymnastics. So all that you need for a good workout. That was a full week of training on the TDG competitor track. Like I said, we are starting or just started into our 12 week strength cycle. Focus on building a strong foundation, level up your gymnastics and build a fucking great engine. So if that's something you want to improve on, check out our two week free trial in the link down below. Anyways, enjoy your week and see you on the next one.